Now, if you can't handle that, get some poetic experience in God until you're. Because I used to be the. I used to be on the other side. Yeah, me too. <laughs> now, when I say that, if I say that phrase, there's no way I'm saying God took it. I'm just saying I trust you in my life. That's right. Because the one thing is, He does care for me. Okay. Now, so that your daughters may be as pillars sculpted in Palestine. That our barns may be full. Did you know you were born for barns? To be full. Amen. To be full. Now, what's the purpose of a barn? Storage. For what? Protection. Yeah. And why? For the ground. You gotta store stuff. Okay. The barns have nothing to do with you. They have to do with everybody around you. You were born in a. Jesus was born in a barn. You were supposed to be. You were born in a house. That leaves you with a mindset that life is about being comfortable and meeting your needs. But life isn't. You were given this life to meet the needs of others. That's good. You, you weren't born for your needs to be met. You were born for greater than that. Amen. Those born of the woman, of, of women get that. They say, help me, help me. What will I eat? What will I, what will I drink? What will I wear? What will I do? Who will love me? That's, that's what people born of women pray. Mm -hmm. But when you're born of God and of a woman... You're born of the water and the spirit. Right. You don't say that anymore. You seek first the kingdom. You, you know I was born to bring life to my world. Now, you don't have to bring life to my world. You won't have the grace for that. Just bring life to your world. Okay? That your barns may be full, supplying all kinds of produce. That our sheep may bring forth thousands, ten thousands in their fields. Why would you want thousands and ten thousands of sheep? They're not pets. They provide wool and cheese. Some of the best sheep cheese is in, is in Portugal. Oh, boy. March, I'll be back there. I'll get some sheep cheese. <coughs> that our oxen may be well laden. That there be no breaking in or going out. That, that there be no outcry in our streets. Happy are the people who are in such a state. Happy are the people whose God is the Lord. So I'm going to pray. But I'm reminding us today that we are new creations in Christ. That doesn't make us better than anyone who's born of a woman. Uh, I'm not going to put anybody who's born of a woman under the, the rules of grace. I'm not going to expect them to be changed by grace. I'm going to expect them to, to allow the teachers in their life. Whether the teacher is too much law or no law, I don't care what the teacher is in their life. I'm going to allow the teacher to talk to their heart. To tell them they need a God. Mm -hmm. They need love. And, and you know what will do it? Is if we become the people who are in the state of this Psalm 144. If we live our lives empowered by God's grace to be the people who are sons and daughters. And live as those who supply life and and bring blessing, and bring goodness to the earth, and we become the people who bring the goodness of the Lord into our world. Mm -hmm. The people around us will want to come into that world too. And those born of woman can have a miracle. They can be born of God. They already belong, and they can believe. But the more we condemn them, the less likely they are to believe. Why? Because we are putting law on them. The law is only a tutor that says you need God. It's not something that changes them. All right? So let me pray. Uh, and Father, I just pray for this expression of your family. Every member here, pray that you touch them. Uh, spirit, soul, and body today. Anybody that needs a healing in their body, I pray that you just release supernatural power of your grace right now. I know some are facing even um, surgeries or things that have to take place naturally. God, we're happy that you've given wisdom to doctors, but we would appreciate a few surprises.